Hey friend, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Hey, my name is Christina. For those of you that are new, um, before I get into it to my amazing supporters, thank you guys so much for all of your amazing, amazing support. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to drop a comment below. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, today is Friday, October 14th. It's currently 2.40 p.m. As y'all can tell by the title of this video, I am going to do another wonderful get ready with me video as I talk to y'all about these topics that y'all, you know, y'all Y'all just been loving them, been enjoying them, and I want to continue to do more because I have so much to talk to y'all about. Um, and as I told y'all, this is going perfect with the direction that I want my channel to go in. So today's topic, we're going to be talking about healing, as y'all can tell um, by the title of this video, which I'm really excited to talk about in addition to talking about it. Um, I am though, before I get into the video, I gotta go hop in the shower. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup today, my hair, and then I'm gonna also pick my outfit with y'all. So um, just stay patient and I'm gonna go hop in the shower as I told y'all, I'm gonna come right back. We're gonna get dressed together, get into the topic, talk, have some motivation, have some story time maybe. I don't know, I gotta think of a story time for y'all to share with y'all in um, this topic, but yeah stay tuned and i'm gonna see y'all in the next part of the video i look crazy right now but y'all know we transform when we get ready okay okay hey friends so i am back took me a nice shower got all cleaned up i just do want something comfortable real quick i'm gonna lay my edges um brows lashes lip combo then we're gonna pick up my clothes together and i'm gonna talk to y'all while we do that so um as i told y'all we are talking today about healing y'all i feel like this is a really really good topic i told y'all i'll be doing my sticky notes now and stuff like that so that um i don't forget to talk about it So um, one of the first things I want to touch on as far as like healing is concerned is timing. Like give yourself time to heal y'all. Like sometimes we want to heal quicker than it takes us to heal, but you have to give yourself time. And I think the challenging part with healing is that you don't know how long it's gonna take um, for you to heal. Um, but I say give yourself time to heal. I feel like there's things in life that happens and um, we don't give ourselves enough time to heal from those things. Like I've been through different things as I've shared with y'all in my own life and um, some things take time to heal. Some things take years. Some things take months. Some things take weeks. Some things take days. Some things take even just a few hours. But the most important thing is to give yourself um, time to heal um, because it's important. Like, and make time to heal that's another thing sometimes i feel like we don't make time to heal so for example um if someone has done something to you um you might need a little bit of space from that person to get over whatever they did from you and to heal from whatever they did from you so i could talk about like um maybe I'll say marriage um, because, for example, like your spouse may have said something to you that's mean or that made you upset or that's really harsh. I'm not endorsing this, but maybe you got to sleep on the couch for a night to get over it. I don't know, but sometimes you need space away from someone to be able to heal from um, what they possibly have done to you if that makes sense so that's like one of the first part of it is healing is 
that's one of the first part of healing is knowing how much time you need to heal sometimes you might not fully know how much time you need to heal but be aware that there's some things take time to heal and that's okay you can't rush the healing process if you get a cut on your hand you can't say oh this is how much time it's going to take to heal it depends on how deep the cut is how bad the cut is where the cut is that all is a factor of how the healing process will go for that cut so it's the same thing with anything the other thing um, that i want to touch on as far as healing is concerned you also have to want to heal i feel like sad and i somewhat used to be that way so that's the only reason why i could speak on it sometimes people don't want to be healed and it's really really sad but you have to have a desire to heal if i may say um because if you wanna some people are comfortable being broken and being wounded and injured because it brings them attention y'all ever talk to somebody and y'all wonder like I don't know like every time you talk to them they're in the same situation again after again after again it's they are the same person but they haven't encounters with different people like the same thing keeps happening to them and that's because they're the problem so if you find yourself with a lot of wounds with a lot of hurt with a lot of pain you have to come to a place where you say I don't want this pain anymore I don't want this hurt anymore no matter the attention it brings me no matter the people it attracts me to like I want to let go of that pain and heal from whatever it is that I am dealing with heal from whatever it is that I am going through so that's another part of the healing process that I think is important timing is very important be patient don't rush yourself to heal don't force yourself to heal even the people around you when it comes to your friends when it comes to your family if you've done something to hurt the people around you hurt your friend or your family member or something like that don't rush them to heal don't force them to heal if you if you burnt them by accident or you cut them by accident you can't tell their skin oh hurry up hurry up and heal hurry up and get over it no like give people time to heal give yourself time to heal and to get past whatever hurt whatever pain and things like that that you've experienced and i promise y'all i am not telling y'all this because it's easy i know it's not easy but i'm telling y'all this because i love y'all and i want y'all to experience being free from hurt being free from pain i want y'all to experience healing like going on a journey of just healing from different traumas different experiences different pains this is something that i had to go through myself you know i've i'm still in the process of healing from certain things you know what i'm saying getting past certain things getting over certain things it's not an easy thing to do but i want to help my supporters i want to help the people that's watching to heal to get past certain things that they um might be going through so have a desire to heal i personally believe god will never give you anything that you don't want that's my personal belief if you want to be healed you will get healing if you want to get past a certain pain a certain hurt um certain things you will get past them when i don't know when i'm not in control of time i can't tell you when um but i can tell you that if you decide that you want to heal from it if you decide that you want to get past it it's definitely possible for you to heal and for you to get past it it's just for you to decide that that's what you want you ever um made up your mind about something made up your mind that this is what i want and it's like once you made up your mind that that's what you want it seemed so much easier to get it it seemed like it came to you so much easier but that's because you decided to want it and i feel like it's the same thing with healing you have to decide that being hurt being broken being in this position of pain and discomfort is no longer benefiting me it's not healthy for me anymore and just change from that you know what i'm saying and then the last part of it that i want to highlight on that i want to like touch on which i think is going to be very helpful so um when i was in florida if i'm not mistaken i told y'all i went to a business convention and I heard this guy 
he got on stage he had received like a amazing promotion in the business and he got on stage y'all and he um i if i'm not mistaken he said he specialized in healing um outside of him doing the business and stuff like that healing is something that he specializes in and um one of the most powerful statements i heard him say I'm gonna lay my baby edges, I'm gonna lay my adult baby hairs, and then I'm gonna tell y'all what he said because I already know once I start talking about this, I'm gonna get really passionate and I need to lay these before the gel dry on. So I'm gonna come right, right back in like 30 seconds because what he said was powerful, y'all. It literally blew my mind. I felt like I was healed from certain things that. I was hurting from um, when I heard him say this. Like, I never heard nobody say this before, and I thought it was really, really powerful. to get into this part of the topic y'all so this guy as i was telling y'all i went to a business convention and he said um you know outside of the business that we do he um he's like a professional healer and he said that you can heal yourself by changing what you believe Ooh, when i tell y'all that hit me to the core it hit me to the core y'all i was just like wow i'm gonna say it again and i'm gonna say it again just so y'all can be here he said you could heal yourself by changing what you believe you that's watching this video can change yourself i mean you can heal yourself you that's watching this video you can heal yourself by changing what you believe i'm a give you guys an example somebody did something to you and you're hurt about it you're holding on to it you're mad you're bitter they said sorry um they've done everything they could to try their best to get you to forgive them to get over it to get past it to move on but you're still hurting about it and you could still be hurting about it because you you continue to choose to believe that they meant to hurt you that they did that intentionally that they're not sorry about what they did don't get me wrong there are some people that are not sorry about what they did but we're not talking about them i'm talking about because i've been there where people have done stuff to me i've held on to it i couldn't move past it they've said they sorry everything and it's like you know it was hard for me to get past it but when i consider that you know what they really sorry they ain't mean to do that when you choose to believe that you heal yourself you're not hurting about it anymore you're not talking about it anymore how you know you've truly healed from a situation from something that someone has done to you is when you no longer talk about it is when somebody can ask you what happened with you and so and so why did y'all break up and you have moved so far past it or why did y'all stop being friends or why y'all not as close as you used to be you have moved so far past it that you can't even tell them why that's how you know you've healed from something that someone has done to you and i'm saying this from personal experience where someone has done something to me 
and I've healed I've moved past it and somebody is just like how come y'all like not as close or why things didn't work out between y'all and I really had to like think about it because I moved so far past what they did to me that I didn't even remember so you that's watching this video I want you to heal I want you to not be walking around with wounds and in pain and hurting and I'm talking from an emotional standpoint from a mental standpoint from an internal standpoint I'm not talking about physically I'm talking about emotionally mentally like I want you to be healed from whatever experiences you've had whatever things that people have done to you like maybe let's say your mother has done something to you and you feel like she neglected you or abandoned you or this or that sometimes in order for you to move past your mother doing that to you maybe you gotta change the way you're looking at it you kind of got to give her the benefit of the doubt a little bit where you're like you know maybe she neglected me because she couldn't afford to take care of me or you know what i'm saying like sometimes that's just what you have to do mentally in order to heal yourself and to move past whatever it is that you are going through so that's my piece on healing as i was saying like i want my people that's watching this video to be healed i want them to not be broken broken hearted broken emotionally broken physically broken like trust wise like you know what i'm saying like all those deep things like i don't want the people that are watching me to continue to be that way you might be that way now but you don't have to stay that way have a desire to heal have a desire to move past so um i'm probably going to talk about it a little bit more but i am about to go and choose my outfit get dressed put my jewelry on all that stuff take a little bit of pictures and then we gonna go from there but i truly hope that this video helped y'all i hope y'all feel me i hope y'all feel where i'm coming from okay i love y'all and let's go finish getting dressed okay why is he in here y'all tell him to get out they're trying to get way. dressed you're in my way all right y'all so as y'all can see i'm in my closet i'm about to pick out what i'm wearing they saw me organize it yeah, in the video, so that was just for the be day, quiet. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It's still intact, y'all. Y'all can see yeah, it's, it's still, still intact. Clean. It's his section that be all messy and stuff still like that. Anyways, y'all. Um, still not clean. Can you get out? Okay, y'all. So we're going to come in here. I'm about to help y'all. I mean, show y'all like how I pick my outfit and stuff and put it together. So, um first thing i usually do is check the weather like the weather is going to determine what i'm wearing stuff like that so today it was raining earlier but it's not raining anymore it's 65 degrees out it's a little bit on the chillier side for me i'm in the boot in the mood to wear boots and probably a scarf so black boots again i probably put my black leather boots on um the low cut one because i have this picture y'all i actually i don't think i did it get ready with me with this fit i should have but i saw this picture earlier and i low-key want to wear these boots again probably this bag um that's another thing that's how i get like my like fit inspiration sometimes i look at like older pictures and stuff or if one of like my favorite influencers are wearing something that i like like a certain color i'll be like i want to wear that color too like if they weren't orange so i'll pop out with something orange on but um yeah i just know the main thing is i don't want to be cold today like i want to be warm the weather is changing i'm trying to like really avoid um getting sick so I go get dressed and come back and show y'all the finished look i gotta take this off as well because my edges should be done by now and i don't want um that line to be on my forehead Some of them start 
starting to give big like this sweater ended up being like a bit big so I had to tuck it in so that it could fit the way that I want it to fit um but yeah as I told y'all I got me that gold jewelry I'm gonna put some more bracelets on because it's just not enough for me right now but I'm sure y'all the finished look after this got an alarm y'all to start the car um, so that I could start the car sometimes because sometimes you know it'd be too cold so you need the car to like warm up to like defrost or whatnot and other times it's too hot so you got to get the air condition pumping um, so yeah now I just gotta decide on the bag. I think I'm gonna end up going with this one because I don't know, that's a tough choice. I might ask my husband. I gotta get out of here in like 10 minutes. So yeah, I'm about to go do like my lip combo, choose my bag, give y'all like a finished look, take some pictures real quick for the thumbnail, and then it's a wrap, y'all. Heal, please. Love yourselves enough to heal. Love yourselves enough to not want to walk around broken and continue to be the same person. Grow, evolve, develop, change, go after bigger, go after better, heal. Like, that's my message to y'all. So, I'm about to go wrap it up and then I'll be back when I'm finished, like, fully dressed and stuff. Bye. Hey, y'all. So, I am back. I'm done getting dressed, y'all. I finished my lip combo as y'all can see I did my mascara some brow gel hers done all that I put my outfit together so I'm gonna show y'all the finished look Ooh, tried something different and I think it came out cute this is the bag that I ended up choosing and then yeah y'all know the vibe um as I told y'all I love y'all feel that's the message in this video if you need help healing i don't know i'll try to give y'all like personal advice depending on your situation depending on your scenario but desire healing y'all don't want to keep walking around like broken unhealed traumatized and all this stuff so i love y'all i appreciate y'all i don't like how this white is I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I'ma see y'all in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be 